Hi guys, in this uh, video series, I want to go over the uh, customization of the uh, records that are available in HubSpot. Uh, there are some updates coming from HubSpot, to, small updates to the customizations, and uh, we will go over them uh, in this video series, plus the basic functionality that probably not everyone is using. So to start, um, I'm right now on the contact record, uh, and I want to start from the left uh, sidebar. Uh, at the top, you would see the basic information about this contact record. So there is a logo. Uh, if you don't see a logo, you can also edit it and upload it if you need it. And there is a uh, first name, last name, company name, and email. Um, those fields are not editable. Uh, those are like the defaulted ones. Uh, below, you would see the action items, and the action items is actually, you can change the order of them. So, for example, if you're SDR, if you're not communicating with the person uh, directly with prospects, uh, you would probably switch the uh, action items to um, something else, like not communicating uh, through calls, but communicating through emails or sequences. So, for example, Right now, what I have here is uh, a note, uh, email, enroll in sequence, task, log, a LinkedIn message, and then more. Uh, if you click uh, three dots here, you would see here reward directivity buttons uh, functionality, and this is where you can change the order. So five top activities and the others would be in the more section. Uh, before moving down, I also want to go over these actions uh, a drop down list uh, because most of the people are missing the functionality that is in it. Uh, so, follow. Follow, you can follow. So, for example, if you're not a contact owner, this is where this functionality can be useful for you. Because if you're a contact owner, you will probably be notified anytime any activity is going to be tracked or changed on the contact record. If you're gonna hit follow and you're not a contact owner, you would be notified similarly. So it could be cases when more than one person managing a deal or a contact record, right? It could be cases when you want to supervise someone if, if, or if this is like a huge account that you want to uh, be notified whenever it's changing um, here, like in terms of whenever a new activity is tracked or the deal is created. So you might want to hit follow in those cases. Uh, then we also have a view all property. Um, this is like basically where you can see uh, the drop down of all the available properties and information. If you want to dig deep, uh, deeper into uh, information available about this contact record, uh, then we have uh, view property history and view association history. So those are for uh, detectives Pikachu's <laughs> because if you want to see when the last time was the property updated or the last time the association was made, who made that association, then you might want to go deep into this too. Uh, then we have a summarizing chat spot uh, button. Uh, this is a chat spot functionality, AI functionality from HubSpot. Um, it does a good, like run pretty good uh, anal analytics in terms of if you're going to click here, let's actually click here and see. Uh, it's going to summarize uh, the information about the contact record for me. Uh, so as you can see, put some uh, generic uh, details plus uh, a summary and a summary of engagement, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that's a total different topic, chat spot for another video. And then we have search in Google. Uh, so this is something if you need to, so you don't need to copy and paste, you just click here and you'll tr be transferred to Google where you can enrich your contact record with any information there. If you've uh, been notified by this contact that they don't want to receive any communication from you or you see that this is a competitor, for example, you might want to opt out of uh, emails, marketing emails. Restore activity, this is something, so activities like engagements, uh, meetings, tasks, they can be deleted and they also can be restored within 90 days. So this is where you go to restore them. You also can merge records here, delete record and export contact data. So the last one is uh, important for GDPR. People can request what information you know about them and this is where you go.